We live around this unseen world of microorganisms and small bugs that we don't always know they're there or don't see them. House dust mites are small. They're in the same family as spiders and ticks. They're about the size of a grain of salt. Dust mites don't make us sick through biting us. It's primarily through exposure to their allergens, particularly allergens in their feces. In order for them to survive in a home, there are really three things that they need. They need the right temperature, they need a food source, and they need water. The most common food source for dust mites is dead skin cells off of people. There are some misconceptions about the prevalence of dust mites. It's common to hear advertisements for mattresses where they say that after eight years you should replace your mattress because of dust mites. So we actually went in and vacuumed dust out of people's mattresses, their carpets, their upholstered furniture, and what we found were levels of dust mites in dry climates were not high enough to support that claim. Mattresses either had no mites or very low levels of mites. What we did find was homes with swamp coolers had significantly higher humidity levels in the home, but the humidity never got high enough to really support dust mites. If you can keep the relative humidity in your home below 50% year round, eventually the house dust mites will dry out and die. I've always been fascinated with sort of the unseen world that we live around, and at times I find it to be sort of creepy, but also fascinating at the same time. These creatures that we can be around and not even know they're there, and yet they have such a dramatic influence on our health as a whole. <laughs>